So could you introduce yourself and your company, please? Indeed, yeah. My name's Alistair Nunes. So I'm Business Development Manager for Kiwi Power. And could you explain the service that Kiwi Power offers? Indeed, we are an energy demand management company. We work with organisations to generate them a reoccurring revenue stream uh, by cleverly managing their energy use during times of peak energy demand on national grid. Uh, ultimately, during these times of high demand, uh, which are really driven by weather patterns, um, TV events, EastEnders, the Olympics, um, National Grid used to procure this high rise in demand through switching on peaking power stations. These are the very old, expensive, carbon intensive, dirty uh, power stations, five times more polluting. It's that much more economical and environmentally friendly to incentivize companies to reduce their demand than to increase the supply on the grid. So we work with clients to understand what their energy profile looks like uh, and what non-essential energy use they're able to turn down for a very, very short period of time. Uh, that time scale is maximum two hours, but the typical request to turn energy down is, is really about 45 minutes, and that would happen about 20 to 30 times a year. Um, we do this by identifying non-essential energy use in the building. Um, so the exhibition environment we're here today, uh, if we were to look up, you'd see lots of lighting equipment up here, but you can very much easily continue this exhibition without changing the comfort levels by switching all these lights off. There's enough uh, solar gain through the window that you don't need to have these lights switched on. And the temperature in here is, is certainly way too warm uh, as it is at, uh, right now. So we would identify these non-essential loads with clients uh, and look to be able to reduce them uh, through their control solutions. Uh, it could be a building management system uh, where it's ultimately a push of a button and set points would change on HVAC systems or lighting controls. Um, and that's one way. The alternative is to switch from your grid supply and switch over to your backup generator. Uh, your backup generator is really there to provide a security supply if there is a grid failure. And uh, so really what you're actually doing with the generator is yes, you're generating this revenue stream from doing this program, but you're testing the generator in, in the optimal environment. Uh, when a testing schedule occurs for a generator through the maintenance teams at businesses, uh, they switch, typically would just switch them on to make sure they work. Uh, that's not operating them in the right environment uh, or under the designed load conditions. So really what I'm saying is you have to put load, the site load, through a generator. Often something called a load bank is brought in to a site to put electrical current really through a generator to test it will work and support the facility. That's a cost to a business that it really isn't necessary. Uh, this program is designed that you're running your site load uh, under a generator and therefore testing it in the optimal conditions. This is also important because you're getting a recycling of your fuel supply. Uh, fuel sits in fuel tanks there and uh, you know to support the generator if it's needed. Um, but if fuel just sits there, the, the, the quality of your fuel, fuel, without getting too technical, really, really degrades. So it's very, very important uh, to recycle your fuel through the generator uh, for, for that reason alone. Um, so ultimately, the National Grid are looking for you to reduce your site load and it's either turn down or switch over to generators. How much is this really for clients? Well, the grid will look to pay between uh, 20, 25,000 pounds per year to reduce their load by about one megawatt, around 20 times a year. Um, we ultimately would you know, deliver commercial proposals that, that really makes clients understand how that revenue is delivered, but to simply define it, you generate a revenue through being available in the grid. Uh, the program would run from about seven in the morning till roughly about 10 in the night with some hours in the day that you don't need to, to be available. But about 70, 80% of the revenue comes from just being there available. And then when you're called to perform uh, the event, which as I said before, will last only about 45 minutes, uh, you're then paid an additional revenue stream uh, that way as well. Uh, the typical clients that, that will benefit from this, anybody who consumes energy is, is uh, able to participate. Uh, it's then how much money can that one site make. Our clients include uh, leading high street supermarkets, uh, data centers, telecommunications giants, uh, retail, uh, really education. I mean, there is a every sector can benefit from this. This is truly uh, beneficial at the moment uh, for the public sector because naturally there is, if we look at the NHS, there's staffing uh, costs to, to 
you know, remove ultimately, and this seems to be their best way to reduce uh, costs. And this will be a way to generate their income and save ultimately jobs really in the public sector. And that's what we find is you know, what we're trying to accelerate. Uh, private sector obviously can benefit because it hits their bottom line, and they too might be needed to, to generate incomes. But the public sector at the moment is finding it really difficult to raise revenue streams. So that's what we're uh, very focused on at the moment. We have many NHS clients and local authorities. So. Can you quickly talk me through like the history of this type of service? When, when did this type of service be, start to become available? Yeah. And um, what are, what's the what what's the background to it? it? Yeah. Yeah. The heritage of this came really in the United States, um, and uh, this program really was invented there about 10, 15 years ago. Um, uh, you know, there's a big story around how that got to market, but ultimately. Um, they are. They brought this. It's really more, more common to find a, a company that does demand response programs but doesn't do demand response programs. Um, so it really was uh, a U.S. market 10, 15 years ago. Billions of dollar industry out there right now. It's come across the U.K. and uh, we're certainly one of the leading companies providing this service. We're getting it right here, and we're actually now in the realms of exporting it to other territories. So we talk with the Ofgem equivalents in other countries around the world to, to deliver that. So the US was where it was born. And uh, what would you say the degree of like, market penetration is for this type of ser service? Uh, to date, it's low. I mean, National Grid need more. And they need sites really to get involved in the program a lot more. Um, so the revenues that clients can generate is, is going up. So the sooner you can get in, the sooner you can get uh, a flavour of the program and how it works, the value that you can earn is going to increase. It gets a little bit complicated of how this money is actually calculated. We have to go to uh, a tendering situation three times a year. So some of the core competence of Kiwi, Kiwi Power is that we are able to represent our clients, go to market, achieve best pricing for them, because um, it's not a simple, we pay this for this much energy, and that's the way the relationship works throughout the year ongoing. So we tender pricing and different types of contracts to, to, to stay a little bit less complicated there, uh, and ultimately um, represent our clients. So uh, that is a skill, and uh, you know we, we compete against other companies like ourselves to win the best prices and to win the best contracts. And uh, history shows that we're, we're certainly doing extremely well. Um, it's very, very important if we look at this as a revenue generating opportunity through National Grid, but companies should look at en energy management better because there's different ways businesses are penalised for using their energy. Um, something is called a triad avoidance strategy during the winter months of the year, in November to February inclusively. It's a charge passed on to consumers to use power. You can ultimately reduce that exposure by doing programmes like what we do. So. Uh, what you actually can generate a year from the programs that we put together, you can actually save on your bill and indeed generate an income stream if you, if you get the strategy right in just a quarter of the year in that a triad management strategy. There's something called a JOS uh, thing, uh, it's red zone management, so to use power at 4 o'clock in the afternoon is extremely expensive compared to 11 o'clock in the morning. So again, it's reducing the non-essential loads during these times. We'll see massive savings on bills for clients. So. Uh, it, it, it is a holistic program, which is why demand response is ultimately an umbrella for different opportunities to save energy, save money, save carbon, and generate revenue. So, um, the one final thing I'll probably touch on is the fact that we have to report to National Grid your consumption at a site, uh, and we have to report that in real time. So, companies might be familiar with half hourly data, which is the fiscal meter reading every 30 minutes on the bills. Um, we, that's not good enough because a, a demand response event could last for, say, 22 minutes, and you wouldn't see that on the half hourly meter. So we report, we install, sorry, we install smart metering, very, very advanced smart metering, report that back to National Grid in a real time, minute by minute basis, <clears throat> and uh, that has huge intrinsic value for clients. So energy, energy teams and maintenance teams looking to further uh, uh, add value to more efficiency, basically, add more efficiency to their sites, they can monitor it in real time and see if this engineering improvement here actually had any benefit now today this second we can see if this worked um, we have to report that back to national grid and the poster here you can see is, is an image of a, a dashboard that we provide clients for free um, to buy this without our services would be you know just shy of ten thousand pounds so it's it's a huge value to clients so they get you know alarms and alerts and, and profiles and, and a whole bunch of different really information that's of great value to clients um,
and that's something that, that is, uh, we're seeing a huge demand in from our clients today. Thank you very much. No problem at all.